You're on shift when your eye complaint patient shows you this video. Wait, let me watch it again. Wait, is that a worm? Let's talk about it. I'm Christine Ju, EM attending, and it's time for your quick hit of the day. Loa Loa, also known as the African eye worm, is a parasite, and as its name suggests, it's endemic to Central and West Africa. Humans are infected by the bite of an infected fly that introduces larvae into the skin. The larvae grow into adults that stick around in the subcutaneous and submucosal tissues, and they produce microfilia that can be found in the peripheral blood, but only during the day. Most patients are asymptomatic, but occasionally you can directly visualize these worms as they migrate across the subconjunctiva. The infection can cause angioedema. You can also get localized hypersensitivity reactions. Some patients can present with pulmonary manifestations, cardiomyopathy, nephropathy, and even encephalitis. Workup in the ED can include obtaining a CBC because let's be real, everyone gets one. But these infections can actually cause an eosinophilia although that's nonspecific. What you really want is to measure the number of microfilia that's in the blood. Ideally, this is done between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. when they're at their highest levels. Why is that level important? Because that dictates the patient's treatment. Treatment is primarily with diethylcarbamazine, or DEC, and ivermectin, but you're probably not gonna be starting these in the ED. If a patient has a very high parasite load, anything greater than 8,000 microfilia per ml of blood, and they're started on DEC, that can result in a potentially fatal encephalopathy from all of the antigens that are released from the dying microfilia. Albendazole and aphrasis are your other options, but these patients will probably need to be admitted. You probably should get ID and ophthalmology on board. So the next time your patient tells you that they feel like something is moving in their eye, ask a few more questions. Not everyone has delusional parasitosis. They might actually have loa loa. If they're from Africa or have a recent travel history, get a CBC, check the eosinophils, and most importantly, get a microfilia level. You've been quickly hit with your Space City quick hit of the day. Now go crush your shift.